If the topic is a new Tesla model, then the first item on the agenda is how long it will be delayed. The polyhedral wonder that is the Cybertruck continues this grand tradition. While traditions hold true, however, the world around them changes. The Cybertruck was first unveiled at that impromptu window-smashing event in late 2019, scheduled to be available later this year, and is now reportedly delayed until 2022, with higher volume production not happening until a year after that. This follows hot on the heels of a tweet from CEO Elon Musk saying that Tesla Inc.'s revamped Roadster sports car should ship in 2023, provided that 2022 goes easy on him. That model was first unveiled almost four years ago, with an original launch date of last year. Incidentally, that unveiling was a mere digestive to the main event, the reveal of the Tesla semi-truck, beginning with the production two years ago, and is still due. The Cybertruck is designed to have the utility of a truck with sports car performance, built to be durable, versatile, capable, and high performance both on-road and on uneven terrains. We're here to see how the Cybertruck stacks up against existing entrants in the full-size pickup market. At the announcement, Tesla said it plans to offer the Cybertruck in three flavors, an outrageously fast one, a mid-grade model, and one for the plebs. Starting at the top is the model which likely supplied the impressive acceleration numbers touted at the show. This trim will have three electric motors and an all-wheel drive. That's heavy-duty pickup territory. As you'd expect, Tesla is mum on the specific power outputs, but a dual-motor Tesla Model S P100D is estimated to make 588 ponies and 920 units of torque. Considering that Tesla threw out numbers for this most powerful version of the truck, we'll do the same for its competitors. The half-ton twins over at GM make 420 horsepower and 460 pound-foot of torque from a 6.2-liter naturally aspirated V8. Ford's big dog engine is a 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 producing a very healthy 450 ponies and 510 pounds-foot of torque. Ram gets 375 horsepower output out of its 5.7-liter Hemi, while the Toyota and Nissan coax 381 and 400 from their half-ton pickups, respectively. Towing In the full-size truck market, just about every customer desires prodigious towing capacity. Tesla claims a 7,500-pound towing capacity for the single-motor variant, raising to 10,000 for the dual-motor and 14,000 for the triple motor model. Properly equipped, a 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500 powered by the 6.2 liter V8 is capable of towing 13,400 pounds. Max tow spec for F-150s are just 200 pounds shy of that number, while the 2020 Ram 1500s can deal 12,750 pounds of towing. For an apples to apples comparison, the nifty all-electric Rivian R1T pickup that's slated for future production is rated to tow 11,000 pounds. It's worth noting here that even the smallest of these numbers far exceeds what the average driver is likely to tow. Even your author's monstrosity of a tow-behind RV, spanning a stop sign bending 37 and a half feet in length and equipped with two TVs and a margarita maker, only weighs 8,600 pounds dry. Dimensions Bench seats front and rear, it must be noted, apparently benchmarked the Ford F-150. Logically, it shares much in the way of physical dimensions. Cybertruck is 231.7 inches long with a 6.5 foot box, 79.8 inches wide, and stands 75 inches tall. Since Tesla used the F-150s as a yardstick, we'll do the same. A blue oval supercrew, four forward swinging doors, with a 6.5 foot bed, has an overall length of 243.7 inches. A super cab with clamshell doors and a smaller back seat measures more like the Tesla at 231.9 inches. Width and height, however, are about spot on at 79.9 and 75.7 inches respectively. But remember the latter stat is for the 4x2 F-150 with 4x4s standing at 77.3 inches. Hauling Every version of the truck has claimed maximum payload of 3,500 pounds. Cybertruck's box is shown to be 6.5 feet in length which is generally accepted to be the industry standard. According to the company, which counts the entire box as an enclosed storage, thanks to its magic tonneau cover, it has a total of 100 cubic feet of closed and lockable storage that's at the driver's disposal. And by the way, Tesla doesn't call it a mere box. It's called a vault. In a fit of practicality, Tesla says the Cybertruck will be available with a system permitting one to raise and lower its suspension up to four inches in either direction. This should provide easy access to the bed vault or the truck itself, 
The presence of this feature helps to explain why the Cybertruck seemed to be squatting excessively in the press photo in which an ATV is loaded aboard the bed. Lowering the rear four inches would help getting any cargo, including an ATV, up into the truck bed. Predictably, some online Neanderthals are trashing this image as proof of a saggy suspension without doing their homework. It should also be noted that RAM also has an air suspension system which permits similar functionality. Again, using the F-150 Super Crew with a 6.5 foot box as an allegory, Ford says the box of that truck will hold 62.3 cubic feet of detritus. It would appear that Tesla is making the most out of that dramatically sloped bodywork. Super Crew F-150 4x2s with the long box and V8 engine max their payload at 2,980 pounds. Any car so long as it's a Tesla. Tesla wouldn't be a Tesla without missed deadlines and elusive products. And with the company valued at more than 730 billion, it hardly seems to matter. This makes sense from a certain perspective. If your whole bull case rests on terminal value anyway, then shifting cash flows a few cells to the right hardly makes much difference. It also makes sense from another perspective as well, which is that Tesla's valuation never has much to do with the numbers other than those on the trading screen. Yet such delays are going to matter more, because drivers move on, even if Tesla holders don't. The most consequential delay for Tesla concerned the Model 3. This was the company's leap to mass-ish market cars, and the delays and snafus around the manufacturing did take a toll on cash flow, stock, and given the coincidental timing of Pedogate and funding secured, probably Musk himself. But Tesla did enjoy one advantage back in 2017. It had virtually no competition. Even with delays to the rollout of the Model 3, Tesla dominated the US electric vehicle market in 2017. Tesla accounted for one in four electric vehicles sold in the US that year, and almost one in two if you discount plug-in hybrids. This actually understates things. The non-Tesla models were mostly quasi-research projects from incumbent automakers dipping a toe in electrics, or just didn't compete with what Tesla was offering. The Chevy Bolt and BMW i3 are fine cars, but hardly anyone thinking of buying a Model 3, let alone an S or an X, would seriously consider them as alternatives. The world has changed a lot in the intervening four years, not least because the Model 3 eventually took off, and so did Tesla's stock. Incumbent automakers' EV budgets have ballooned, and other upstarts are surfing the ESG bubble. Back in 2017, there were 18 battery electric models available in North America, according to Bloomberg NEF, and most of them were best described as just that, available. Today, there are more than 50, and that's projected to rise to 80 plus by the time the Cybertruck is now supposed to show up. Competition in EVs has come a long way since the Model 3 first rolled out. Besides quantity, the quality of models has changed. Ford Motor Company's Mustang Mach-E is a genuine and the company claims profitable alternative to Tesla Models 3 and Y. The same goes for existing and imminent models from the likes of Volkswagen AG and BMW AG, as well as high-end offerings from Porsche Automobile Holding SE and Lucid Group Inc., targeting potential buyers for the Model S. There's also apparent enthusiasm for Ford's F-150 Lightning truck, which should now handily beat the Cybertruck to market. Rivian Automotive Inc.'s forthcoming R1T truck is also attracting early rave reviews. It isn't just that a customer may plump for a BMW iX over a Model X. The point is that customers as a group are inevitably becoming familiar with electric vehicles that don't have a T stamped on them, and finding these vehicles are decent rides nonetheless. That's a great fact, vital for the broader project of electrification, less so for Tesla. At a certain level though, it shouldn't be alarming for Musk's company. Competition is a fact of life in autos, and Tesla has already pulled off the Herculean feat of bending the industry to its vision. The wrinkle is that Tesla is priced for not merely bending the industry, but also devouring it entirely. That's not happening. The only question is when investors, like drivers, wake up to the notion that there are alternatives for their dollars. Now that you've watched the video, let us know what you think about the Tesla Cybertruck, its delays, and competition by leaving a comment in the comment section below. Thanks!